welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about parrots and how to get them to start eating fresh food. Now, a lot of people that have parrots often put them on seed diets, all seed diets, which is really unhealthy and not a good thing to be feeding your birds. And so I get the question a lot of how do I get my parrot to eat something different? So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel down below so that you don't miss any videos about birds. Before we get started with today's video, I do just want to point out this shirt that I am wearing. This is a I Love Australia t-shirt. I am selling these over on Teespring and 100% of the profit does go to wildlife warriors in Australia. There have been so many animals that have been affected by these wildfires in Australia. And uh, I think these t-shirts are gonna be up for a while because this is gonna affect these animals for many years to come. And Wildlife Warriors does so much to help the animals and the wildlife. Uh, they've taken in a lot of the animals that have been hurt by the fire but survived. And it is gonna take a lot of work to conserve the species that have been affected by these fires. So please go check out this t-shirt and maybe buy one for yourself. Now, if you have any type of parrot, such as a conure or a cockatoo or a budgie or a cockatiel, I have to be very specific because a lot of people do not know that budgies and parakeets and cockatiels are actually parrots. So if you have anything from a macaw to a parakeet, they should be eating vegetables. And if they're not, then that's a really unhealthy diet. Now there are some exceptions where some birds do have very specific diets, uh, such as macaws, they do require more nuts, or lorikeets and alexis parrots do have a little bit more complex of a diet. But for very common species, such as all types of conures and cockatoos and things like that, it's really important to be feeding them mostly vegetables. So today in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get your bird to try vegetables. So let's quickly discuss pellets before we get into it. So pellets are not healthy for parrots and it's something that is recommended a lot of the time. But a diet of fresh vegetables, fruits, sprouts, nuts, seeds, basically fresh food is going to be a hundred times healthier than feeding your parrots pellets. And I know, uh, my vet recommends pellets. That comes up all the time. Well, your vet also recommends Royal Canine for your dog. So if you haven't figured out by now that a lot of vets, a majority of vets do not know very much about nutrition, then you're really behind the times and should probably start by researching that. But uh, yeah, basically pellets are not any good. And don't believe me, don't believe your vet. Do your own research and you'll be able to see that pellets are just full of basically three main ingredients for the most part. It's soy, uh, corn, and wheat. So you're just feeding your parrot those three things daily. Uh, I know some people say, well, it's packed with vitamins and minerals, but not really. There are some basic things that are put into it, but if you compare the nutritional value of pellets to a fresh food diet, you're gonna see a huge difference there. The other thing to mention about pellets is that they are all hot processed. So there's only one pellet that is cold processed and then all the other types of pellets for parrots are gonna be hot processed and that makes it even more unhealthy and it's just broken down more. And so that's gonna cause health issues in your birds that can actually lead to feather plucking and things like that. So just stay away from pellets. Uh, I actually don't feed my birds any type of pellets. So I'm constantly hearing people tell me that their parrots just refuse to eat fresh food, that they can't get their parrots to eat vegetables. Well, of course, which would you rather have? Would you rather have a juicy burger from your favorite fast food restaurant or that meal prep with a limited amount of calories and steamed vegetables. Yeah, most people are gonna go with the juicy burger. Uh, if you gave your kids the option of picking McDonald's for dinner every single day versus uh, a plate of, you know, home, a homemade meal with a plate of vegetables, which would they pick? They're gonna pick McDonald's. And that's kind of how parrots are. We have to make those healthy choices for them. 
making healthy choices every day is something you have to build as a habit for yourself and anybody who does that know that it is hard to to get into that and it's the same way with parrots they want the satisfaction of something unhealthy which is what seeds are and so in order to get them into a healthy diet we have to make those tough choices for them and get them used to eating that and if you've you know tried meal preps or healthy things like that you know that the more you do it the easier it is to get used to it and actually start craving that and that's exactly what happens with parrots so don't give your parrots the option of picking mcdonald's every day get that healthy food into their diet and help it become a habit. So let's talk about how we can do that. So there's a couple of different ways to go about getting your parrots to start eating healthier. And the most important thing to understand is that it's not a one size fits all here. There are different ways to try it, which I'm gonna be going into, but I just want you guys to not get discouraged if you try one thing with your bird and it doesn't work, just try something different. Uh, parrots take a lot of time and dedication and so also don't expect it to be overnight. These types of things can take weeks, uh, they can take months uh, to, to get your bird to really start eating better. Uh, it really depends on the bird. Uh, mine have been pretty good. They haven't taken that long. But if you have an older bird that's been on a really bad diet for a long time, then it's going to be harder. So just be prepared to give them the time that they need to be able to adjust and keep trying. So many times I hear people saying, well, my parents refuse to eat anything else and it's because they tried for a couple of days and gave up. Try introducing vegetables to your parrots gradually. Uh, this method actually works really well for parakeet species. So uh, mix in vegetables with their seeds. A really good vegetable to do this with is actually broccoli or cauliflower too, because it kind of breaks up small and blends in with the seeds and then they'll be there eating and they'll end up eating some of the vegetables and they'll they kind of see the broccoli as seeds. So that's a really good way to get them to start recognizing vegetables as food. And then once you get them eating something like broccoli, you can start introducing more types of vegetables to them. Just remember to reduce the amount of seeds that you are feeding when you start mixing the vegetables in. That way they don't just uh, only pick out the vegetables and still get a full meal because then that is an opportunity lost to get them to try to try something new. Now let's talk about a big mistake that people often make when introducing Introducing vegetables to their parrots is that they provide them with pieces that are way too large. So if your bird's able to pick up their pieces of vegetables and fling them out the cage or to the floor of the cage, you know that you're cutting the vegetables too big for the bird. So this is actually where chop comes in. It's really important to cut up the vegetables really finely for the parrots. This is often something that really helps introduce them to new food. So it's important to keep the pieces small. So chop is basically what it sounds like. It's chopping up lots of vegetables into small little pieces to serve it to your birds. Chop is the best thing to offer to your birds because it provides them with a variety of food, creating a balanced diet. And it's actually fun to do. And there's so many different things that you can put in it. There's some different ways to go about making chop. Uh, what I used to do is I would actually pick out um, six different types of vegetables, two fruits, and a uh, grain such as uh, cooked quinoa or uh, wild rice, something like that, and mix that all together. And that would last me um, seven to 10 days. But recently I started cutting down on the amount that I make. Now I make about half of that and so I make it twice a week. And there's so many things that you can add to it and there are seeds and, and spices and herbs and things like that that you can put into their food. This provides so much more nutrients than pellets. Also, please check out my website. The link will be down below. I have a lot of chop recipes over on my website. I do post a lot of this stuff on Instagram too. Uh, but I tried to put it all on my website to just give you a collection of stuff. And it is not all the options that you have, but it is definitely a lot of good resource for you to be able to get started on making your own chop recipes. Chop is cut up really finely to prevent the parrots from wasting it, so that way they have to actually like dig through it. They can't just fling it um, out of their cage. 
And this is really cool for them because it also creates foraging so that they can uh, pick through the chop to find their favorite things. And so if you want your parrots to try to eat this, it's really important that they're actually hungry. So I recommend feeding chop the first thing in the morning when your parrots are hungry. Later in the day, you can offer some seeds, but don't be afraid to let your parrots get hungry. And that's something that I think people also have a hard time with is that they feed the parrot, the parrot just kind of picks at it, doesn't want to eat it. So they feel bad. They don't want the bird to go hungry. So right after that, they provide the food that the parrot originally wanted. And so the problem with that is you're telling your bird, you don't have to eat this. I'm gonna give you whatever you want, but that's not how it works. You need to tell them, yes, that is what you're gonna get for today. So if, you know, don't of course starve them. So you can feed them in the evening their seeds. And then that way they did get a meal that day, but each day encourage them, hey, are you hungry? You're gonna to have to try this food. Also, don't feed uh, the seeds too late in the day either, uh, like not right before bed or anything like that because you do want your parrot to wake up hungry. Now on the topic of chop, that's not to say that larger pieces would not work for other parrots. So some parrots actually really like having a kebab where it's a veggie kebab that you hang in their cage and they're able to uh, play with it and then they start eating it and it turns into food for them and then it's a foraging toy. So there's a lot of different things that you can try with parrots. The kebabs usually work for larger birds. Uh, so that's another really great idea to try to um, get the food into your parrot's cage where they're having to interact with it. Providing a variety of food is not only just important to providing a balanced diet for your bird, but it's also really helpful in getting them to be able to try new things when you're introducing them to fresh food. So here's some things that really help with that transition. Broccoli, like I mentioned, kind of looks like a seed. It's something that they're willing to get into. Peppers are also great for this because peppers have seeds inside, so that kind of gets them more willing to try that. And don't be afraid to feed peppers to your parrots. Uh, parrots are not mammals. They do not have the taste receptors that we do to be able to taste spicy food. So any type of hot pepper, uh, jalapenos, uh, anything like that, they can eat that. In fact, it's really good for them. It increases appetite. And that's something that I actually constantly provide in my chop recipes. Cooked grains are also great and definitely something that they're willing to try. So you can mix that into your chop. So things like quinoa, wild rice, flowers and herbs are also very tasty and really can increase their appetite. I really like to use squash flowers and for herbs, I like things like anise, uh, basil, mint, chamomile. Those are all great things to add to their food and use color to get them interested in food. Parrots love color and texture, so food like red beets and radishes for color or purple cauliflower, celery for texture, kiwis also for color and also is sweet, so they enjoy that. There's just so many endless options and when people say that their birds will only eat seeds, it's really just because they haven't been able to try anything else. The last tip I wanna leave you with is do not feed canned or frozen items to your parrots. Now canned food of course is not healthy so that's never an option and frozen food might become an option for you later but a lot of parrots are very picky with frozen food even after they have been on a fresh food diet for a while. So don't introduce that and make it more difficult for yourself. Um, get them transitioned to fresh food and then try freezing your chop once your parrots are actually eating it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got to learn something. Let me know down below in the comments if any of these work for your bird and just tell me about what type of parrots you guys own and what type of parrot videos you would like to see more of in the future. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yes, yes. yes. Barry, do you wanna give the video? You want to give the video? Like only, thank you. Only feed nuts to your birds. That's all they need and it's all they want. Yes. Right? Just nuts? You're so pretty.